Hi, right, welcome back. Up until now, you've been working with establishing entity relationships that are have been one to one. And so essentially what you've been doing is what I would term resolving foreign keys within a table. And now we're kind of going to segue and transition and talk about relationships where the entity relationship between two tables is is one to many. Now I want to say this up front. The difference in the syntax and the mechanics of your join, whether the cardinality between two tables is one to one or one to many, there is absolutely no difference. No difference whatsoever. So let's uh, get started and talk about one to many relationships. Now I have uh, in this example if we look at the logical model again working with the healthcare database we have a patient table and a patient accounts table and the logical model is a patient can have many accounts and that relationship is founded in the in the physical model or the ER diagram the patient table where we would join the patient PK to the patient account table to the patient FK. And now the question becomes, how did I know, how do we know that the join is one to many? Is there a way for us to understand that the join is one to many just by inherently looking at the ER diagram? Let's say we didn't have the one to many on here. And uh, I'm going to forego answering that question until we come take a look at the at the query itself in the workbench. So we're going to head on over to the workbench now. Okay, so let's uh, head on over to the workbench. And I've already have the queries opened up. Uh, for this example, I think you've got enough experience under your belt that you don't really need to follow along with me, per se. You can kind of just watch, kind of kick back and, and watch what I'm doing here. Uh, I have the query open called Join One to Many, and this query is located in the Examples folder that we've been using throughout the course. And this query is, is joining the patient account table to the to the patient table on the uh, join parameters patient account dot patient FK equals patient patient PK. There's also some row restriction here where I'm bringing back for patient number 117 and where their account total charges is greater than zero. And as you can see I have four rows that have been returned. And also see you can see for clarification I'm um, returning back the PK and the FK and if we were just looking at this this could be a, a, a tad misleading so let's let's look at the individual queries themselves from from the individual tables themselves that where this data is coming from on on our join and also I want to point out if you take a look is there anything that distinguishes that this is a one-to-many from a one-to-one no, there's not. It's exactly the same. The join mechanics are exactly the same. I have a simple select statement here where I'm selecting where the patient PK is equal to 117. And as you can see, there's one row that's returned. And uh, if, if we kind of segue back, on the one side, you can see you know, there's that validates that for us. If I look at the patient account and I just plug in my row restriction criteria where the patient FK is equal to 117 and their total charges is greater than zero, you'll see I'm getting my four rows back. And so you can see as I go back to the to the original query these results should kind of make make a little more sense to you now as we look at the query for each individual for the individual tables themselves now I had asked 
Is there a way of knowing that the join is one to many other than the ER diagram telling me that that's the case? And the answer is if I have access to the, the schema, the DDL schema, for the patient account table, I can make that determination. I, I definitely know on the one side that it's one because I'm going after the primary key and the primary key again guarantees the uniqueness of the row. But if I if I go have a look at the patient account table, the DDL schema, I'll see that there's an index that's created on the patient foreign key. And because the index doesn't have the keyword unique in front of it, what it means is that this is an index that can allow for duplicates. So I know by the very virtue, let me get rid of up. Oh, <laughs> oh, lovely. We'll have to correct that in a moment. Uh, so I know by the very virtue of the fact that my join statement is joining on the patient FK and it's indexed, duplicates allowed. And also I know just by some self-examination of, of the data itself that the join relationship is indeed one to many. And so that's a way that, that you can that you can tell. Now let's uh, head back to the PowerPoint, the slide presentation. And uh, I want to I want to kind of close this out before I send you off to your exercise, and I want to continue on talking about ER diagrams. So so in this one, I have an ER diagram that is basically the patient's perspective to findings, and you've already worked with the findings table, but in a different capacity. So as you can see here, a patient can have many findings, and again, how do I know other than it's told me that there's many findings? Well, I know because in looking at this, the primary key of the findings table is composed of the patient foreign key, the finding type code, and the data create timestamp. And so I can, because this is a composite key consisting of multiple columns, that this patient foreign key can be in there multiple times. So whenever you're linking from a from a primary key to another primary key or from a foreign key back to a primary key but the primary key column that you're linking to is just a part of the whole primary key that is an indicator that the relationship can be one to many I also want to talk about if we look at this from this perspective, my relationship in this diagram is that a patient can have many findings. Now I want to go back a, a few slides because you were introduced an ER diagram in one of your exercises where the findings table was the center of our universe and we were resolving a foreign key so the relationship between the findings table and the patient is one to one for any given row. So in other words, you did an exercise recently where you had to pull things out of the, the findings table and you had to resolve this foreign key to get the patient name back. But the relationship when we're looking at it from this perspective is one to one. However, if we look at it from the perspective of the patient table, it's one to many. And now I want you as, you, as you go off to do your next exercise, I want you to think about that because that's one of those, what I call a light bulb moment. If, if the, your light bulb should go on and you can go, oh, okay, aha, it's an aha moment. So what I'd like you to do now is go off and do your next exercise, which will have you writing a query against this this uh, ER diagram. And I'll see you in a while. Bye.